So I guess, you know, one of the reasons that I am the way I am is that, you know, coming up in high school in the 70s and, you know, cars were starting to get ugly and music was starting to sound kind of lame and, you know, and the clothes were, you know, really ugly. So when I was maybe like 10 or 11 and kind of be became obsessed with that, you know, 50 sensibility thing. And so I just drew choppers and old cars and stuff like that all through junior high and then in high school trying to figure out what I'm into or what I like. Everything from the 50s looked great and nothing from the 70s looked cool. So we just started, me and a handful of other guys started greasing our hair back and wearing leather jackets and getting in trouble and trying to make believe it was 1953, not 1973. We were able to pull it off because, you know, the stuff was only 20 years old then and you could find it at the thrift store. And As a kid, I thought grown-ups dressed like with narrow lapels and skinny ties. That's what grown-ups look like to me. So I think that now that I'm a grown-up, that's what my basic thing is, you know, the Rat Pack, JFK, that kind of, that's probably where my uh, heart is at as far as, you know, sartorial splendor. That's, that's my thing. One of the things that's cool about being in California is that I see beautiful stuff all the time and it still feels like new to me. Growing up in Massachusetts, you'd only see old cars if you went to a car show. You see them here every day and it's, uh, you see an old lady driving a 68 Mercedes with a leopard coat on and I love that stuff, you know, and it's, Part of that California style is to have your own car and keep it clean and, you know, just it's got them sunny afternoons and those starry nights. It's, uh, it's inspiring to me still. It's all seems new to me and I'm very happy to be out here.